Let's talk about Logic, reminding everybody that his last album, called Everybody, uh, sold more than all the pop stars. So this is 44 more. Let's listen. Wanna do it right now, tell them murder this. Shout out everybody, no fucking around and heard of this. Heard of us, we ain't going nowhere, it's a heard of us. Hold up, roll up. Levitated like I'm David Blaine. Living a dream like I'm David Ames. Talk all you want, we are not the same. Step in the spot that ain't know the name. So more albums my first week than Harry Styles and Katy Perry. That ain't a sign of the times that I don't know what is. Man, this shit is scary because... All right, so that's Logic saying he did sell more than Katy Perry and Harry Styles first week. So uh, everybody sold 196,000 his first week. Katy Perry, 162. That's not bad. Katy Perry did perform at the Super Bowl. She's right. like a certified pop star. Who do you guys it's, feel? It's hip hop. That's what you're supposed to say. It, and, and I have no problem with what he said. If we, if we want to read into it, fine. But that's the history mm. of hip hop. Boasting, bragging, flexing talking about how you outdid somebody. He's, he's not taking the shit on anybody, talking about any violent shit. Right. He's not talking about, I'm gonna smack you, yada, yada. He's just popping his collar. I, I can appreciate it. Yeah, I think he is taking the shit on, on people. You know, you know what, honestly, I would respect him more if he compared himself to someone within hip hop. L let's just look at it, and I think fans, or educated fans would know this. When it comes to the pop world, he's comparing himself to pop people. I get it, number one, hip hop has surpassed pop. Mm -hmm. But for pop, it's never by the first week. Only in hip hop is it such a big deal. Right. Like the first week it's sales, bragging right. because you know why? And not only bragging right, the first week sales are usually about 60% of what that album does in like a month or two. Right. So the first week, because hip hop fans, they go to get some shit, then they're on to the next. For pop, they drop a record like a year ago and they put out every single and they work it at radio. Right. I mean, if we go back to Katy Perry, when she dropped it in um, 2010, a teenage, what was it, Teenage Dream, you know, they. Pr they promoted that album for three three years, yeah. and no seriously, three years, and they had five number one singles. So what I'm saying, they're single base artists when you're comparing yourself to pop. Yeah, I would've liked him pop the shit at Amigos. How much did Amigos sell this week? Well, no, we're no, gonna no. Start because you know, why, you know why? Pop the shit at Amigos because yeah, you might have sold a little bit better than the first week, mm -hmm. but but I guarantee you're not doing better. Uh, than them in streaming. But and I think that's part of it. I think he doesn't get as much mainstream hip hop love as those people, but he has such a strong fan base that he's saying, Nobody look, I'm still moving Katy almost Perry. 200K a week. I, I don't mean, think that's... But at the same time, right? Yeah, He can get in that conversation with everything. You want to know why? Because Logic is an artist that everything is not on the surface, right? If you ask a little kid how much this person has in money and how much you think this person has, they're probably going to run with the person that has more jewelry on. Mm -hmm. He's getting bright. Like, he's doing very, very well for himself. And I think people don't really fuck with him because he's an artist that's half black, half white, Wayne, and he looks more white than he looks black. Wait, are you trying to tell me that Logic out here grossing more than Katy Perry even still? I ain't say he's gross. No, I'm not talking about grossing. I'm just saying that this song, I listened to the whole entire song. It sounds like he's popping shit at the game, not just Katy Perry, because he's not respected in that same right. He's not getting put in conversations with the Kendricks or, or any of these other people, yeah. and he's doing better than... He might be the best artist, the best-selling artist mm -hmm. on Def Jam right now. Okay, and I agree with him, but I think he should have popped that shit at hip-hop people. You know why? If he had said, yo, y'all covered these motherfuckers all day, and I outsold them, and my last single, the one about the right. suicide prevention right. song, Right. That shit is a top five single. Why I'm not talked about a lot. But we only we don't talk about Katy right, Perry. But we're only, Harry we're only talking about one line. He had another line in there. We talking about go ahead with about the, 20, the about dive. having twenty million. And he was saying, I want to have. I can't quote it exactly, but he said something to the effect about him having twenty million dollars in his bank account because he didn't fuck it off in a club, mm. and he didn't want to be the artist that his kid. He wanted to be able to support his kids going to college when it, when time was ready. And his kids not being able to say they can't go to college because their parents fuck shit off in the club. So he is coming at hip hop. That's yeah. the line we just didn't listen long, to. Just as long as they never say Daddy Blue twenty million dollars had to flex to be acknowledged. I think I think it was a very well thought out, calculated diss. I don't right. think that he wanted to cross uh, the, the 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 lines and go after the Migos or somebody mm -hmm. as you just said and, and, and have some unnecessary fucking tension, Word. fuckery, right. you know, d dealing with the smoke. Do you want the smoke or not? Because he already not? deals with so yeah. much of that criticism. Like, it, exactly. I don't know why he would want to wade further into that. He's saying like, I'm good. I'm making money. I have my Yo, fans. The thing is, of course he's not going to go after the Migos because the Migos is on your ass. <laughs> like, that's what, let it be known, like the Migos, everybody that they've had a problem with, they be on their ass, right? Mm -hmm. But, what I'm saying is, when it comes to logic, is I'm telling you, he feels like he might feel like he's not respected in that same regard. He's not he's, respected in hip hop. Though. He's not respected in hip hop, but he's a hip hop artist. If you and I'm talking so back to his first album, 
I mean, it's a it, yo. It's like the Migos coming about out saying. I mean, we yo, bringing Migos up that did, one. Migos did outsell Katie too, right? But but they're not coming out here they like selling everybody. That's what they're not coming out here like yo. We just out. no. Nobody gives a fuck. Talk about hip hop. If, if the Migos came out and be like yo, next time we getting Drake, now it matters. Listen, the Migos pop shit when they doing videos and they counting up, got a million dollars in the bag. They popping shit at everybody. That's why he brought up him making money. He is popping shit at the game at every rapper because majority of the rappers that we talk about on an everyday basis, you're not bringing up with him, and he's probably better than them lyrically, and he got more money or just as much money as any one of them. So he wants his respect, I straight lie. up. I won't lie, he does strike me as the type of person who will give his kid like a rush card to to kind of spend for the week, even though a he's a rush card. Yeah, he's <laughs> so right. yeah, yeah, he, he wants wants to see the fuckery. fuckery. Right, he wants to see no, no, the fuckery. Not even, you know, I think it's weak to go with pop stars about sales, right? When we know hip hop already passed pop. So if, right. if that if that's the argument you're trying to say, like, yo, we hip hop surpass y'all over there, cool. Right. But when you're going at individual people mm -hmm. because of whatever attention you might not get, go at the motherfuckers who sell less than you in hip hop, but get talked about more than you. In Are you bothered by the fact that because he's biracial, he has the luxury to choose two avenues? <laughs> no, not not at all. Not at all. But I think I think you are. No, I'm not. Respect, <laughs> no, no. Res respectfully. Respectfully. No, no, no. Respectfully. I hear what you're saying. Then, hang on, hang on. And that is an issue within the urban, I'll just say, experience. That, that that's an issue. Oh, you, you you talk like this. You be hanging over there. You, I mean, I grew up playing hockey. My mother's Italian. I hear all the bullshit from time to time about ah, you, you you're not really down. You're not really black. Yo. I, I mm -hmm. think that what he did was very smart calculated. We're talking about a married man. Logic right. is married. He doesn't want the fuckery. Now, we appreciate the fuckery, but he doesn't want the fuckery of dealing with the Mika. So he takes it's a shot at Katy Perry and somebody else, it's and it's all good. 20, that's why it's a catch-22, right? Because he probably gets those additional sales and attention from him being biracial, you're, that's why you're not getting the respect, right? Because a lot of people... Respect have, from who? But he clearly wants respect because he's rapping about it. You don't know if he yeah, wants... He's rapping about it. But, but, is he, you don't but, want to... But, but, but look, I, again, we're he going... He wants respect from the culture. That's why he's mentioning, like, yo, I, I sold more than this, this, that, and third. Right, but look, again, we're going off of that line. Yeah. We went to the other line. Still want respect? Wait, wait. Might still want respect, right? But when you go at the other line, when he starts talking that money shit, you talking about every nigga in hip-hop. Okay. Every single one of them. And I promise you, if Logic looked more like J. Cole, he'd be more respected. Straight up. They both like hell. No, no, right? no, no, no. If you see J. Cole, you, <laughs> you won't... You said Bright? When you see... When you one look, of them looks white, though. Actually. If you look at J. Cole, you would... A lot of people don't know that J. Cole's mom Until is Until you listen to his music and hear it. You, know? yeah, I mean, you, you don't know more that. like Kendrick, man. <laughs> you gotta get a little dark. Yeah, you gotta hit. You gotta hit the little the little sunbed joint, man. Get a but I, I think he came. I think he came at the game with this entire record, and it's just like I'm letting y'all know that some shit is coming. Word. And I'm also letting y'all know that I'm up there, right there with y'all, stats wise, music wise, tours. If you talk about his tours, he's <laughs> doing as good as anybody. Of course. Listen, Logic, clearly, it, in my assessment of the record, you're talking about being respected, like how your numbers want you to be respected. If you want to be respected, go to that nigga Jordan Lucas neck. That nigga sent the record at you. I don't think he responded. Go to that nigga neck and let the culture really fuck with you. I didn't you. know you were so racist, man. Why? <laughs> you racist? I, I had no idea. I was sitting across from a racist. How Holy is shit. this? Yeah. This is jumped out the window. <laughs> I was just racist. <laughs> Act as a black supremacist. Yeah, yeah no, no, no. <laughs> I was just racist. Yeah. Yo, clearly, if, if I feel like, for example, right, I'm right. a media person. If I feel like I do the most numbers, but I don't get the respect, yeah. and I constantly am chirping at other people who I do more numbers than. Constantly, though? Does he constantly do this? Um, Have you li listened to his last album? Have yeah. you listened to his interviews? I listen to his interviews. Yeah, and he's and, and he kind of has that. Yo, like, you know how frustrating it is? Look, let's be honest. What? Him? And again, I think to the severe extremist degree, there's a rust. They always on some shit like, yo, I sell a lot. Y'all guys don't respect that me as are a completely different. Yeah, Logic so tries to keep he's it so po right. positive so and stay away from the fuckery, like Star was saying. Right. Rush just keeps crying about everything all the time. Listen, Logic, talk your shit. We get talk it, all right, shit, man? Logic. Do your thing. Man, respond to Jordan Lucas, man. <laughs> and I want always, to smoke. Always want Where's to the smoke? Where's the smoke? Katy Perry don't want no smoke. Harry Styles don't want no 
don't smoke? We gotta get a we gotta get Logic in a strip club and get him to throw some bands. He's a married man, I don't think he's gonna do that. <laughs> <laughs> we, we might get him on stage playing Nintendo Wii and I'll be down with him. He'll be down with but him. But he ain't gonna be the strip club. And by the way, that is a great clever line about him not wasting his money in the strip club. Absolutely. Like yeah. like, since we're talking about Logic, can we not forget his uh, his great performance at the Grammys? Mm. Yeah. That that was very, very impactful. That was a great connection to suicide right. prevention. He aced that. And with regards to, you know, being respected, you know, see it how you want to see it. But, you know, everybody who's biracial is not seeking approval from the other side of the fucking tracks. Right. And I mean, one last thing. With that Logic song, to your point, <laughs> with, to your point, Star, with that song, I think people kind of threw him in a different place, right? And when, with this song, he's just letting, y letting people know, y'all got me fucked up. I'm gonna let y'all know that I'm I'm about to go. Like that song is a setup for whatever album he got coming. I'm not surprised if we get the release day soon. Word. I agree with you. <laughs> call out Jordan Lucas. Over here, yo. Call, call out Jordan <laughs> right. Lucas. Somebody uh, that wants to smoke. <laughs> you feel me? 